as seems to be almost always the case, um, new things are in the works. So I thought I'd spend a few minutes and and talk a little bit about the navigating the new Insight Maker user's guide, which looks very different than it has in the past. It's implemented in a software environment called Kumu, which is very shortly to be released. It's Friday, February 14th, to be exact, I think, pretty sure. So what this environment is, is, is a network of, of elements where in each element represents, provides a, a video of some function or aspect or concept associated with Insight Maker and and one or more models that that pr provide examples of those concepts you can move this around you can use the the mouse wheel to to move in and out if you find a, a node of interest you can click on it and it will show you what's at that particular node you if you are extremely overwhelmed by all of the content you can click and hold on a node and it will get rid of all of the rest of the nodes except the ones elements connected to that particular one and you can then walk the gerbil trail so to speak so that if you click and hold on another one it will tell you the pieces that are extended or attached to that so that you can sort of walk your way through the network as desired and if you want the whole network back you can simply click and hold in the background and it will bring it all back this um, this will zoom everything to fit this is zoom in and zoom out which same as the mouse wheel does if you need to refresh the screen for any particular in uh, reason this will refresh you can take a screenshot of it if you want to get back to the initial entry screen just click somewhere in the background and it'll show you the, um, the the entry panel where this particular video is and as to where the the user's guide is itself there's a link in the um, about section for the video itself so if you just look at the text down below the video there's there's a link that will get you here if uh, a few other things you if you find a particular area of the map that you want to investigate more if you simply click near it and double click on it it will bring that particular part into into focus and if you double click again it will take it back you can can go ahead and select a certain item and use the the focus option and say that I want two degrees from that point and then zoom in and it will give you that portion of the map um, most of the if you look at a certain element of the map this is a video about why to create models and all of the elements that are connected to it the there are usually more elements connected than are explicitly represented in the video itself though below it you'll see the components that were referenced in the video and if you mouse over them it will take you to that point for a focus and if you click on it it will take you to that particular element now some of the elements in the model the videos are still being done and I'm still trying to figure out are the colors the way I want the colors to be for primary entry points concepts functions and examples and um, and you, in addition, you can also search. So if I'm looking for storytelling, I can type in story, click on this, and hit enter. And it will take me to the, the storytelling element, which is right here. I can then go ahead and watch the video. Um, here's a link to the API. But it just, the idea is to provide rather than the, the the typical linear user's guide which is is seldom appropriate in terms of what one is looking for there's a certain aspect or function that i want to know about and and then there are things that are relevant to that that i want to know about based upon that particular component so so as we add more and more pieces and interconnect this environment more you will see 
the, the network itself continued to expand with more examples. And um, there are quite a few of the, the videos that have to be updated because um, I think the last time I was doing videos, we were in release version three of Insight Maker. We're now in version four. And there are a number of, of very significant enhancements that have been made, such as all of the vector manipulations and storytelling that warrant updating. Um, and we'll get to those shortly now that I think I'm comfortable with the environment that's been put together. And if, as always, if you have questions, uh, just send me an email and I'll see if I can come up with an answer. Hopefully this gives you a, enough of an overview of the environment so it, so it isn't a, a shock when you end up there. So take care. Bye.